are they are thankful or not so today's lesson uh, we we going to continue from aya number uh, 44 onwards so when mention about uh, blessings how the behavior of the believers should be and also it was mentioned when you are asking others to do good and forgetting yourself surah al baqarah aya number 44 do you order righteousness to the people and forget yourself while you recite the scripture so this was the ulama of bani israel but it's not just for the ulama of bani israel it's for everyone you know they read the scripture the scripture still you know their life was contradicting us yani they were not actually implementing it why does this happen that when a person knows what the book of allah says yet he does not confirm to it yet his actions contradict the book of allah why does this happen when does this happen when a person becomes hari is greedy for the worldly benefits when he forgets the akhirah then what happens the amal on the book then the amal on the truth half acting according to the truth becomes difficult so allah says i am number 44 surah al baqarah afala taqilun will you not reason will you not reason means what's the advice allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives that this is something we need to pay attention to also that any time we find that our actions do not match our knowledge then what is it that we should do we have to check ourselves because this is the book this is the guidance for all of us it's for ya ayyuhannas it's not just for the uh, like uh, certain people do it no atamurun an-nas bil birri wa tansawna anfusakum wa antum tatluna al-kitab afala taqilun enjoin you all bir bir is from bar that is piety righteousness every act of obedience towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the people and you forget to practice it yourself bil birri wa tansawna tansawna is from nisya you forget yourself anfusakum yourself wa antum tatlun al kitab tatlu is from tilawa you recite the kitab afala uh, taqilun have you no uh, then no reason so here condemning of commanding others to observe righteousness while ignoring righteousness so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying enjoin your bare piety righteousness every act of obedience towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the people and forget to practice it yourself while you recite the scripture torah have you uh, then no sense so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said how is it the people people of the book that you command people to perform albir which encompasses all types of righteousness yet you forget yourself you do not heed what you call others to and you read allah's book the torah and knows what it promises to those who do not fulfill allah's commandment afala taqilun have you uh, then no sense of what you are doing to yourself so that you might become aware of your slumber and restore your sight from blindness so here we see the children of israel used to command people to obey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fear him and perform all their yet they contradicted this order so allah reminded them of this uh, fact so it doesn't means it's just for the bani israel it's for everyone so it's about the people of book and the hypocrites they used to command the people to pray and fast but what about the ummatul muslima and those who follow uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam those who are muslim when we say muslim means submissive completely submissive towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when we are ordering something and if we are forgetting ourselves that's not appreciating so allah admonishes the jews for uh, this behavior and uh, altered them to wrongs that they were uh, you need uh, telling others ordering uh, others righteousness and they are not themselves doing it surah number 11 ayah number 88 wa ma uridu an akhalifakum ila ma anhakum i wish not in contradiction to you to do that which i forbid you i only desire reform to the best of my power and my guidance cannot come except from allah in him i trust on to him i repent 
so guidance is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we have to have that talab we should have that thirst in our heart and we should try it so enjoying righteousness and performing righteousness are both required neither category is rendered not necessary by practice of other according to the most correct view of the scholars among the salaf uh, predecessors and khalaf we what we are saying we have to practice it if you are just saying and not practicing it that will go against you because the ulama who are righteous people they will be asked first so that is the thing mentioned over here and there are surahs which references what will we see surahs references will be there so here surah number 61 ayah number 223 ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun kaburat maqtan indallahi an yaq an taqulu ma la taf'alun o you who believe why do you say that which you do not do most hateful it is to allah that you say that which you do not do sometimes it happens you know something you didn't do it actually and if somebody gives you credit what you are supposed to say oh yes just giving a smiley face and accepting it no tell them no i didn't do it uh, so and so did it this also uh matters because when i'm seeing the references of uh, surah to saf allah uh, forbids that you know not to say the things which you didn't do it taking the credit it can happen in anything it could be in your family it could be at your workplace it could be anywhere okay but what we are supposed to do we should be truthful everybody should know oh that sister is truthful she follows the footsteps of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because you preach but when you don't practice it no it doesn't work though and there is one more reference surah number 11 ayah number 88 wama uridu an akhalifakum so i wish not in contradiction to you to that which i forbid you i only desire reform to the best of my power and my guidance cannot come except from allah in him i trust and to him i repent now talking after this talking about sabr sabr is what habsul nafs one has to control ourselves is it possible especially at the time of rage anger at the time of sadness or grief sorrow there are n number of uh, places where sabr is difficult but one can do it wastainu bis sabri was salati wa innaha la kabiratun illa alal khashiin and seek help in patience and as salat the prayer and truly it is extremely heavy and hard except for the khushu those who have fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala الذين يظنون انهم ملاقو ربهم وانهم اليه راجعون ا نمبر 46 we are doing surah al baqara ah number 45 and 46 they are those who are certain that they are going to meet their lord and that unto him they are going to return so first ah number 45 the support that comes with the patience and prayer sabr so allah says that wastainu aun is you know asking help and bi sabr and sabr comes gradually you have to practice it you have to accept that thing but for that you have to control yourself and next comes the sala even in sala without sabr can we perform sala can we do the i am not saying just doing the actions it's not sala is just not about actions it is about you know physical and mental and spiritually we are submissive towards allah subhanahu wa taala so if our mind is somewhere else even though we are doing action that's not complete sabr though so first one has to do the sabr and then the sala seek help in patience and as sala the prayer Allah commands his servants to use patience and prayer to acquire the good of this life and the hereafter so it means aya means utilize the patience and obligatory prayer in uh, seeking the hereafter what is obligatory five prayers talking about if you are not doing five prayers some people 
in general i'm talking about i'm not criticizing anyone usually what happens when some calamity falls or something happens mishap happens so that time they wake up in the tahajjud and do tahajjud that's really good that's really appreciating after five mandatory prayer but leaving all five mandatory prayer just doing the tahajjud begging allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking allah because allah will be on the lower level at the time of tahajjud but what is the prerequisite what we do in the worldly things we do the things accordingly what the rule is so why not in islam so one has to do five mandatory prayer it's just like uh, uh, in ramadan time we do mandatory prayer obligatory and then for the rest of the life just doing uh, juma duhr time no we have to check ourselves we have to do all the five how how much time it will take maybe 5 minutes 7 minutes if you are reciting very big surahs what if you if you are reciting shorter surahs it won't take much time though and uh, wudu also won't take much time if you don't have wudu also so here asking it is importance of the salah a person is very regular in salah if you are thinking some trick going to help you or some formula going to uh, work in that there is no shortcuts in the islam if person is looking for the shortcuts because that moment of time there is a grief and sorrow that moment of time something happen so i want to make allah subhanahu wa taala happy why not every time allah has given so much so that is you know the first thing we, we will be asked is about ram, uh, namaz uh, salah so ramadan is the month where we practice patience sabr because the whole year we are not pra- practicing that much sabr when we are practicing sabr in the t- uh, time of ramadan even though everything is halal isn't it but still we are not eating halal food why from the time of the sunrise to sunset we are not eating we are like uh, doing the sabr for the sake of allah what will happen why we are fasting and why we are uh, doing uh, uh, why we are reciting there's a hadith right uh, in that uh, a person who recites quran and person who fast in the grave they will intercede so fasting is the way organizing you and for fasting we need patience sabr it's not a easy thing though for every person you know doing fasting is not easy and sometimes you think okay now i am young after certain age i'm going to do more believe me that will never come do it right now you know when you say something is very urgent oh asap can you do it that's the thing for the sala why not now so when you practice it now and ramadan is the best time where patience is you know uh, developed in your yourself but look at ourselves every year we practice it and again another year another another till we are alive why human beings are having nisyan forgetfulness so we do forget we do mistakes we do khata but allah is there to forgive our mistakes we are not doing that del- deliberately right so there are two types of patience sab good patience when disaster strikes and a better patience while avoiding the prohibitions of allah good patience you know something happened and uh, of course you one, one can cry but crying and wailing and saying the things which is against allah that is forbidden there's nothing wrong in crying so disaster strikes patience good patience sabrun jameel and the second thing a better patience avoiding prohibition of allah what is okay do's and don'ts then it is uh, written don't do that we don't right so here we see hasan al basri was reported to have said similarly allah then said was salati as sala the prayer the prayer is one of the best means of adhering towards allah subhanahu wa taala firmly yani you accept the orders of allah subhanahu wa taala yani this becomes very easy to implement the orders you know and uh, it is mentioned 
Utlu ma uhiya ilayka minal kitabi wa aqimu salata Beside O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam What has been revealed to you of the book, the Quran and perform as salah And what will happen? Uhiya ilayka minal kitabi wa aqimu salata Inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkari Wala zikrullahi akbar as salah the prayer prevents from fahsha, great sins, every kind of fahsha. It could be wrong actions, it could be wrong behavior, wrong gesture, wrong language. Munkar, recognize wrong. So Allah is greater indeed. This is in Surah number 29 and number 45. So when innaha la kabiratun. Truly, it's extremely heavy and hard. Refers to the prayer. You know, person prays easily when they keep on practicing it. If they don't pray, for example, now your your period started, and that time also by mistake you will do the wudu because you are habitually doing it. Without that, you can forget eating. You can't forget doing the salah, isn't it? Even though at the time of prayer, you don't have uh, like, you know, okay, I'm in the state of uh, uh, like uh, in period, but still that's your habit. So you develop that, right? How, how it came with the fear of Allah, with, with the love of Allah, with the, yani, you want to go to Jannah. This comes gradually. It's not overnight though. So if any person in the family or anyone who is not doing it just tell them nicely don't say in a manner they will be more far from you know Allah and his commands there's another ayah uh, surah number 28 ayah number 80 and those who had been given religious knowledge said woe to you the reward of Allah in the hereafter is better for those who believe and do righteous good deed and this none shall attend except as sabirun So what will happen? They have given the ilm. And then what is better for them when they have amal salih? And then what will happen with the amal salih? Wala yulaqaha illa sabirun sabr. They will develop the sabr. When you pra practice good things, what Allah has commanded us, gradually you will have the sabr. Surah number 41, ayah number 34 and 35. The good deed and the evil deed cannot be equal. Wala tastabil hasanatun wala sayya. Hasanat and sayya are not equal. A person is praying, a person is not praying. Is it equal? It's not. Idfa billati hiya ahsan. Repel the evil with the one which is better. Then verily, he between whom and you there was enmity. Any hatred or enmity will become as though he was a close friend. But none is granted it the above quality except those who are patient and none is granted it except the owner of the great portion of the happiness and the hereafter in this world so what we learn sabr gradually and not only a person may be you know uh, enemy to you he or she hates you but what will happen gradually they will love you you might have heard that hadith if, a, uh, if you love someone for the sake of Allah Allah will love you and the angels will love you and they will make dua for the believers. So always, you know, have good thoughts about others. I'm talking about mahram relationship. I'm not talking about, you know, having this relationship and I'm not talking in that manner. Just want to make clear, you know, because this time is about social media, people cut and paste the uh, sentences, they talk in a manner which may be take in a different direction. So, just want to make it clear. So, illa uh, alal khashin, except for the khashin. Who is khashi? Yani, are those who believe what Allah has revealed. They have khushu. 
and then Allah says, Allah zina yazunnuna annahum mulaqu rabbihim wa annahum ilayhi rajiyun. They are those who are certain that they are going to meet their Lord. And that too unto him they are going to return. Continues the subject that was started in the previous ayah. The prayer uh, or the advice to observe it is heavy. Illa alal qashin yazunnuna annahum mulaqu rabbihim. Except for the qashin in they, they are those who are certain. Yazunnun, they are going to meet their Lord. Meaning they know that they will be gathered and face their Lord on the day of resurrection and annaham ilayhi rajim and that unto him they are going to return meaning their affairs are all subject to his will and he justly decides what he wills so they are certain they will be returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be reckoned it is easy for them to perform the acts of obedience and refrain from prohibition this is like you know you are doing good actions okay but if you are not uh, uh, like stopping yourself from the bad action it will be like you know again negative uh, marking you could say so here we have to understand yes or no they are going to meet their lord Arabs call certainty as well as doubt zan like you know there are similar instances in the Arabic language where a subject as well as its opposite share the same name for instance, Allah says, "Wara al mujrimun al nara fazannu annahum muwaqi uha." And the mujrimun means criminals, polytheists, sinners, shall see the fire and zannu apprehend that they have to fall there. This is in Surah number eighteen, Ayah number fifty-three. So this is uh, like you know, how the way of expression. So on the day of re resurrection, Allah will say to a servant, Have I not allowed you to marry, honored you, made the horses and camels and gave you so and so. This is in Sahih. He will say yes. Allah will say, Did you have zan? Yani think that you will meet me. Meet me means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will say no. Allah will say, This day I will forget you. Just you forgot me. If Allah wills, we will further elaborate on this. Means this is the subject which it will take more time to yani, uh, clearly mention what it says. So first we learn about wasta'inu bi sabri wasalat. Seek help through patience, through prayer. Be patient, to be firm. Try again and again. Work hard. Seek Allah's help through prayer also. Incline even more towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If if, uh, for example, if there is a particular command in religion that we find difficult to observe, then what we should do? Ask Allah for help. Oh Allah, you make this easy for me. We are struggling with khushu in the salah. Ask Allah, are we struggling with the hijab? Ask Allah, do we find it difficulty to spend in the way of Allah to give charity? Ask Allah, do we find difficulty to give up the line? Whatever it is, whenever it is a big or small, anything we find difficult to do, ask Allah for help because who can help us but Him? Who can give us the ability but only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask Him for help in the matters which are related to the deen and also related to the dunya. Whatever the things you are doing, renew your intention in the morning, whether you are going for the worldly job, you are doing worldly task. Renew your intention. It is for the sake of Allah to please Allah and Allah. Please protect me. Any action which is disobedience towards Allah subhanahu wa Because wa inna ala kabiratun illa ala al-khashin. And indeed it is difficult except for the humbly submissive. Prayer is difficult. Like you know long phone calls, long emails, long messages. You know you feel it easy. But what is the thing? What is the thing inside our heart? Why can't we give up? We can. Why not? Say, A'uzu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem and start doing the good thing right away. Sometimes, you know, you feel lethargic and lazy. Okay, I will do now, Salah. Do it right away. You know, now we think we start texting or we start uh, calling and time goes like this. Within no times, you know, you feel, oh, th this much time. So you have to be really careful. Remember that hadith. The one hadith says 
the people who do not pray they will be put in the hell fire another hadith which says the person uh, there was a ayah the, the ayah which says they were put in the uh, hell fire because they were not praying okay and the another was they were delaying the prayer so we shouldn't be delaying it they could be exceptions so and allazina yazunnuna annahum mulaqu rabbihim wa annahum ilayhi rajiun they are those who are certain that they will meet their lord and that they will return to him they are certain that one day they are definitely going to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who like to meet allah also allah like to meet them he who likes to meet allah allah likes to meet him he who dislikes to meet allah allah dislikes to meet him we have to check our heart now again remember in the starting also i told you about bani israel so the keep on this will be coming in again and again ya bani israel ayah number 47 o children of israel remember my favor that i have bestowed upon you and that i have preferred you over the world bani israel has been given the honor preference over others and fear a day when no soul no soul will suffice for another soul at all can can your friend help you can your parents help you no soul fear the day when no person will come to your aid no soul will suffice for another at all nor will intercession will be accepted from it nor will compensation can we give something and you know we will be good no be taken from it nor will they be aided the bani israel were the believers of their time and they thought that if we are saved group then it doesn't matter what we do even if we reject muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there is no punishment for us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear here no one will have another on that day their false belief is refuted here you must do something yourself you must prepare for the day so in the following ayah bani israel the ayah are now reminded of their past where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed favors on them when they did not value this favors then what happened to them this is a mirror for all of us so this is a chance for us to reflect on ourselves on our base on our attitude what are we doing ayah number 49 and 50 and recall when we saved your forefathers from the people of pharaoh who afflicted you with the worst torment slaughtering you newborn sons and keeping your females alive and in that was a great trial from your lord and we called when we parted the sea for you and saved you and drowned the people of uh, pharaoh while you were looking all in front of your uh, eyes your enemy was destroyed so let's see the detail for these ayahs first here talking about ayah number 47 ya bani israel las kuru nimati yallati an amtu alaykum wa anni faddaltukum alal alamin o children of israel remember my favor which i bestowed upon you and that i preferred you over the alamin means nations so reminding the children of israel that they were preferred about the other nations so o oh, children of israel remember my favor which i bestowed upon you and preferred you over the nations so allah reminds the children of israel of the favors that he granted their fathers grandfathers how he showed preference to them by sending them messengers from among them and revealing books to them or more so than any of the other previous nation and it is mentioned surah number 44 ayah number 32 we choose them the children of israel over the alemi nations with the knowledge means here walaqad uh, so here they are certainly choose ikhtaranahum ala ilmin ala alami so they were given the knowledge also and given the preference also and not only that in surah number 5 ayah number 20 allah says for is call a musa liqaumihi ya qaumi iskuru ni'matullahi alaykum and remember when musa alayhi salam said to his people oh my people remember the favor of allah to you when he made prophets among you and made you kings honored you above the alamin nations fikum anbiya wa ja'alakum mulukan 
ஆனாங்கிங்ஸ்டெட் during uh, their time for every period there is a nation it was also reported that this uh, the umma of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is better than the children of israel so this is only way the aya can be understood because this umma is better than theirs as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in surah number 3 ayah number 110 you are the best of the people kuntum khairam ummatin ukhrijat lin nasi تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْحَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلَوْ آمَنَ أَهْلُ الْكِتَابِ لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ You are the best of the people, best of the best, ever raised up for mankind. You enjoy good and forbid evil. And you believe in Allah and had the people of the book, Jews and Christians believed it would have been better for them. So Musnad and Sunan collected hadith, uh, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, You Muslims are the 70th nation, but you are the best and most honored of them according to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Antum tuwakuna sab'ina ummata, antum khairuha wa akramuha, akramuha means honored, alallah. There are many hadith on this subject and ayah number 48. It says, and fear a day. But the who yom la tadzi nafsun, the day when a person shall not avail another. Tadzi nafsun and nafsin shaya anything. Wala yukbalu. It's from kubul. Nothing will be accepted. Nor intercession. Minha shafatu. Wala yukazu minha adlu. Wala hum yunsarun. Nothing will be accepted. No intercession be accepted from him. Nor will compensation be taken from him. Nor will they be helped. After Allah reminded children of Israel of the favors that he has granted them, he warned them about the duration of the torment which he will punish them with on the day of resurrection. But the who yawman and fear day, meaning the day of resurrection. La tadzi nafsun an nafsin shayya. When a person shall not avail another, meaning on that day no person shall be of any help to another. So Allah says in surah number 35 and number 18, وَلَا تَزِيرُوا وَازِرَةٌ وِزْرَ أُخْرَى And no burden of, uh, burd- no bear of burden shall bear another's burden. Can anyone bear the burden? In this dunya they will say, oh I'll do this and that, oh leave this thing, you are good, you know, don't be uh, like, you know, uh, so much into the Islam, why you want to do, it's, uh, you know, do moderation and that kind of uh, thing. But here nobody will bear the burden of another. لِكُلِّ مِرِئِمْ مِنْحُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ شَأْنٌ يُغْنِيهِمْ Every man, yani every person that day will have enough to make him careless of others. Surah number 8, ayah number 37. And it's mentioned in Surah number 31, ayah number 33. يَا يُحَ النَّاسِ اِتَّهُوا رَبَّكُمْ وَقْشَوْ يَوْمًا لَا يَجْزِي وَالِدٌ أَنْ وَلَدِهِ وَلَا مَوْلُودٌ هُوَ جَازٍ أَنْ أَوْلَادِهِ شَيْئًا O oh, mankind, have taqwa, means have uh, fear of Allah. By keeping your duty to Him and avoiding all evil. And fear a day when no father can avail, nor son uh, avail for his father. Nobody can help. You know, father and son, they are so close related in this world. They will help each other. But in the hereafter, nafsi nafsi, nobody will help. Indeed, should serve as a great warning that both the father and the son will not be of help to each other on that day. Neither intercession, ransom or assistance will be accepted on behalf of the uh, disbelievers. وَلَا يُقْبَلُوا مِنْهَا شَفَاتٌ Nor will intercession will be accepted from him, meaning from the disbelievers. Allah says, Surah number 74, Ayah number 48, So no intercession. فَمَا تَنْفَعُهُمْ شَفَاتٌ شَافِينَ No intercession will be of any use to them. So and describe the people of fire saying, فَمَا لَنَا مِنْ شَفَائِنَا وَلَا سَعْدِفِي حَمِيمِ 
yani these are very close friends you know nor will have no intercession nor a close uh, friend to help us yani sometimes it happens you know uh, we feel so uh, lost but we tell our friends and we feel relaxed and relief and you know for sure this friend going to help right but no not that also allah statement here wala you kazumin ha adlun nor will compensation be taken from him means that allah does not accept the disbelievers ransom themselves so allah says in surah number 3 ayah number 91 verily those who disbelieve and died while they were disbelieve in allazina kafaru wa matu wa hum kuffarun falam yuqbalu min ahadihim mal'ul ard zahaban wa la tada bihi not nothing will be accepted from the disbelievers kafir whether it's full mil means full of al ard means earth zahaban is gold for, for, just imagine the whole earth full of gold not be accepted below if tada it's from fidya you know if they uh, offered ransom nothing can save them this is the time this is the time for the work that is the time for the you know what you will be given that's the time you will get the get your report card here you have to work really those who disbelieve if they had all that is in earth and as much as again they to ransom themselves from the torment on the day of resurrection it would never be accepted from them and there would be a painful torment this is in surah number 5 ayah number 36 somewhat it is similar in this it's mentioned azabun alim inna allazina kafaru law annahum lahum ma fil ardi jamian wa misluhu ma'u liyafdaru bihi min azab yawm al qiyamah wa ma tuqbalu minhum wa lahum azabun alim so in this ayah and the previous what is difference here it's mentioned the painful torment and also in ayah number 70 surah number 6 uh, and even if he offers every ransom it will not be accepted from him wa in ta'dil kulla adlin la yuqaza minha nothing will be accepted allah says in surah number 57 ayah number 15 do this day no ransom shall be taken from you yani it is mentioned it is this hypocrites fal yawma la yuqazu minkum fidyatun wala min allazina kafaru ma waqum nar hiya maulakum your abode is fire that is your maula yani maula is like a close protecting friend so allah statement that if people do not believe in his messenger and follow what he sent him then they meet him on the day of resurrection after remaining on the path of disbelief their family lineage or the intercession of the matters masters will not help them at all it will not be accepted of them even if they paid earth fill of gold as ransom and they were all uh, many references here i mentioned few of them and nobody will have means no person shall get anything without trying yourself one has to try for yourself then only the action matters what you are doing for the sake of allah no intercession will help so here this is the thing mentioned and in ayah number 49 and 50 this ayahs will continue just i am going to read the translation here and will continue this in the next class and remember when we delivered you from the pharaoh people who were afflicting you with a horrible torment killing your sons and sparing your women and there was a mighty trial from your lord what is najaynakum min ali fir'aun yasumunakum su'al azab يُزَبِّهُونَ أَبْنَاءَكُمْ وَيَسْتَحْيُونَ نِسَاءَكُمْ وَفِي ذَلِكُمْ بَلَاءٌ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ What was bala? What was the trial? The Bani Israel, the, like at the time of Musa al-Islam, they were killing baby boys and keeping the females alive because they, they, that time a one soothsayer said about, uh, you know, a, one, a baby boy will be, you know, uh, uh, will be uh, the person who can be uh, the cause of your death and he was taking that prevention even though who took the prevention and he gave uh, in his home to stay who pharaoh that's what allah planned you know wa is farakna bikum bahra and remember when he separated the sea for you and saved you and drowned pharaoh people while you were watching panjainakum wa aqraqna ali fir'auna wa antum tanzuru so ayah number 49 and 50 from there we will take in the next class we'll stop here jazakallahu khairan kaseera subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka nastaghfiruka